What's going on YouTube? I'm Fresh Casso. Welcome back to Fresh Casso 101 TV. What our objective is to get better every single day. Now, it's a proven fact that being generous makes you feel happy. So if you would be generous enough to go hit that like button, hit that share button, and hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you can receive my new content. Uh, today I'm gonna do a five minute lab session. And the five minute lab session that I'm gonna do today is about half moon parts. Now, I like to call my half moon parts the meme makers because uh, my client JJ, he, he had a haircut that I did and it went viral and people started taking his hair off of his head and putting it on cartoon characters. So that's why I call it the meme maker. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, I promise you, man, I cannot make this stuff up. They really put this on Manny Pacquiao. They put it on the little wood man with the wood hand, man. <laughs> they got a lot of these, man, but these are just a few that I got off of uh, Ladies Love Cool James uh, Instagram. This is the original post that I posted on my Instagram um, at Adam Fresh Barber. This is my old name. I now go by Fresh Casso. But man, Twitter was really having fun with this thing, man. They was really putting it on everything. <laughs> they even put it on that new Popeye's chicken sandwich. <laughs> it got earbuds in it too. That's crazy. Now, if you've seen my other video about achieving a straight edge up, you know I always start in the middle. And with the half moon part, um, that doesn't change. You still want to start in the middle because you need balance and symmetry in your haircut. Now, uh, the keystone is what I refer to it. Also is the starting point of your half moon part. And if you notice, when I place my first line in the half moon part, uh, the hair that's close to the edge up on the right side of the part gets lighter. Now let's break that down and understand why. All right, so everybody has what's known as a curl pattern and it's 10 different types of curl patterns and they're broken down into four subgroups. Straight, wavy, curly, and kinky. Um, obviously straight has only one type, but wavy, curly, and kinky has three different types in each subgroup. So today I would say that we're working with um, a 3B. And the reason why I say that is because of the thickness of his waves. Uh, kinky hair and coily hair have a, um, a very, very tight wave pattern, like the smaller waves. And it's harder to obtain those waves because it's harder to get kinky hair to actually wave. Curly hair is the easiest to wave. And wavy hair is probably the hardest to get to wave because you have to grow your hair so long and train it in wolf so it can actually lay down and reach its uh, maximum curl pattern. All right, so um, in this terrible illustration of hair, I'm gonna try to explain what I'm going to explain, why you get the uh, light spot after you put the trimmer into longer curl patterns. All right, so this black line that I uh, drew horizontally across the whole screen is uh, what's gonna represent the skin. And the red, blue, green, and orange arcs are gonna represent hair. All right, so right here is where the hair leaves the follicle in the skin. So on the red, the blue, the green, and the orange, it's the same thing, it's where the hair leaves the follicle all right and these uh arrows that i put in above the arcs are the crest of the curl pattern it's where the um it's where you get the length in your curl pattern all right so this magenta line is going to represent where the trimmer cuts the hair so as you can see it's cutting through many of the crest of the uh curl patterns so anything that's connected on the left side of where you're of where the magenta line is is connected to the scalp 
and anything that's connected to the scalp on the left side that crosses where you're cutting to the right side will be cut off on the right side because it's not connected to anything once you cut it. Anything that grows on the right side of the magenta line will still be there because you didn't cut along the crest of it. That's exactly what's going on in this video. My client has a longer curl pattern, so it's gonna be more cut off. Um, when I'm doing a half moon part, I like to place my beginning point and I like to start the curve. And once I have my beginning point, I like to place my ending point. And this is kind of uh, my secret to the half moon part. Put your beginning point and your ending point, and then you make those points meet. Now, when you're trying to get these points to meet in the arc, you want to first off make sure that you're making a arc with the trimmer and use only the corner of the trimmer blade because the least amount of teeth that you use, the more detail you can get with your work. And when you're going inside of a curve, you need to really, really be detailed with your uh, tool. Like I said, I like to work both sides because if you work in one direction, it's easy to get lost. If you have a starting point and an ending point, it's kind of easy to see where you need to go. And this is kind of my secret to the half moon part. I hope this information was as useful to you as it was to me, knowing that, you know what I'm saying, when, if you have a starting point and an ending point in a half moon part, then you'll be able to visualize where the curve goes. And knowing the um, length of your curl pattern is beneficial because you'll know where the best entry point for your part is because you'll know how much hair to expect to lose on the opposite side of the blade. But this, this is gonna conclude our uh, <laughs> five minute lab session, but I'm gonna continue to cut on this video um, enhancing it, making this thing pop, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really let y'all see how I uh, really detail and have more part. Appreciate y'all coming through, man. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Fresh Casso One of One TV, where our objective is to get better every single day. If you got time to stick around, stick around and watch me clean this half moon part up. Go like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell so when I drop my new content, you can see it. 